So this season, Bungie introduced Tormentors, a new enemy type, just like they did with Witch Queen when they introduced kind of the Light Bird Hive. Uh, Tormentors, you know, that's a scary new, like, checkpoint check boss for the season, or for the year, I guess. Now, they also, Bungie, did something like super dirty that I think uh, most of us experienced this week, and that's locking us in a little tiny room in Lake of Shadows with the Tormentor, and then adding taken arc turrets to, to boot, right? Not cool, Bungie super stressful thanks a lot so so because of that i thought maybe it might be worthwhile just to go over all your options that you have available to you to kind of lock a tormentor up while you're dealing with messes like this and some other strategies and basically anything i can think of to make any situation like this just have the least amount of stress possible so we can you know still do the end game stuff if you want to solo it etc but trying to be as casual as possible or at least like you know less stress on the hearts good for everybody right yeah yeah so so with tormentors i don't want to get too into the like the basics i'm sure you guys all know by now it's been like six weeks almost since they arrived but right you got to break their two shoulder pads after you break their two shoulder pads their chest opens up and then you damage their chest uh they have a bunch of different attacks right like they shoot purple crap at you like a normal way they shoot a spinny purple crap at you the other way they can jump at you they can uh suppress you like knocking out your super all that kind of stuff um just one thing right for that all that stuff don't use your super on them until you bust their two shoulders right otherwise you're not going to get really much damage out of your super at all now there's two kinds of tormentors too there's the basic tormentor which i guess we can call them the major type and then there's the boss type of tormentor so different interactions between both of them they both behave the same but what you can do to them is totally different so with the boss type one like we have in like let's say here the hypernet current strike the new strike you know so you can't do the basic stuff to them so they're not affected by uh suspend or freezing anything like that they behave like a boss in that aspect right so which brings us to the first strategy for making this way easier on yourself and that's your position on the map or in the field here when you're fighting one of these guys so especially like the boss type here so basically you want to get above them so right here you can see i'm on the cliff now sometimes he'll jump up here and i just jump up even higher and i'm totally safe but when you're up this high you're safe for almost everything so he can't stomp you can't suppress you uh his little whirly wind void attack can't get you because it doesn't go up high so when you're up higher than him and higher than that attack it only rains down void damage to things below or at the same level of it so if you're up above it you're safe from that too so the only thing that really can hit you when you're at like when you have the high ground is his normal basic attack which isn't so bad if you have a well or if you have in a position to dodge here so so first strategy of making this your life way easier is get above them anywhere above them where they can't jump up and get you so if height's not available just also keep in mind that distance is also your friend for tormentors so again with most situations you have the ability to run far far away and shoot things from a distance that applies to tormentors too a lot of enemies including tormentors they kind of have an area of influence right that they're not going to leave it's like an invisible border i guess we can just imagine it that way i'm not saying that's how the game mechanics work but in most scenarios you have the option to run far away and there's going to be a point like with most enemies where they'll just they'll stop chasing you a certain distance and you can take them out from a distance too so keep that in mind play around with it in certain uh, scenarios when you're run into these guys and there's probably a few options like this one in arms dealer where you can just run away and they'll just stop chasing you at some point so just to reiterate the environment is your friend above all other things above loadout everything like that the environment and using that to your advantage definitely if you can do that do that that's the most important thing now as far as loadout goes for tormentors basically the better precision damage something does the more damage it's going to do to a tormentor because the only real damage you're getting from them are crit spots basically so that includes their shoulder pads and their chest piece so you know arbalist linear that kind of stuff does do decent damage to them but you still might not find it useful because it's not uh since the nerf it's not the best for everything else right so it's maybe not worth having your build around just doing a crit on a tormentor right like that makes sense but other things that can kind of help you out or give you a benefit when you're fighting tormentors like such as locking them down which is definitely an important thing if you have no ability to run away from them is uh stasis i find it's probably the most useful so here's a stasis warlock i have a stasis turret basically 24 7 whenever i need it and i can keep them frozen almost indefinitely 
like there's no issue there so super useful when dealing with the tormentor is stasis especially when you're warlock especially in the lake of shadows mission where you know you gotta you gotta ignore the tormentor for a few seconds there to kill those kind of arc taken turrets but other things super useful i'm sure you guys know but suspending the tormentor so if it's a major type of tormentor not a boss you can suspend them as well which again works great but just keep in mind with that is i find it a little buggy sometimes like my shackle grenade for example if i'm like aiming at their skinny little legs it goes through their legs it like bugs out and just goes past them doesn't actually do the suspend and that doesn't happen every time but i feel it happens enough to be cautious about it anyway so try to aim for their feet like where the ground is where their feet are touching or maybe their bulkier section like their shoulders that kind of stuff and i find it works a bit more it's a bit less buggy when i'm aiming for those spots now as far as weapons in your loadout when dealing with tormentors basically you can think of it just if it works on a major or regular enemy it'll work on a tormentor so um tractor cannon right that's obvi the obvious first choice but uh it disorients weakens um kind of locks them down but again that might not be 100% useful to you in your loadout especially if you're running it solo but uh, if you're running a team or if it fits into your build that's great tractor cannon by all means it's great but other things that might work out for you one is uh, Grand Overture. So I forgot about Grand Overture, but if you got the Catalyst, it actually does blinding when you do the missile volleys. And here we go, see, it also blinds a Tormentor. Not the worst weapon. I know it's not really the season for Ark, but but it's out there. Um, regular breach loading, disorienting grenade launchers, right? They work good. If you have one with auto loading, that's perfect because you, know, you can blind the Tormentor, switch your regular weapons to do damage. And then by the time he wakes up, it's auto loaded you can shoot them again and just keep them locked down that way too works really great glaives too are a bit useful so with glaives as long as you can keep your shield up every time he does his attack hit the shield from a glaive will block his suppress ability so it won't suppress you um it'll protect you and as long as you can keep your shield up you're good and as long as you're hitting him every once in a while with it to keep his kind of uh, his hug mechanic from happening so doing damage will stop the hug mechanic as long as as soon as it triggers if you hit him it's good now I can't believe I'm going to say this, but the Queen Breaker Linear also is not too bad when it comes to Tormentors, believe it or not. I know it's definitely not super useful for any other scenario, when you're, especially when you're being solo, but, but every hit with the Queen Breaker will also disorient or blind, quote unquote, the uh, Tormentor too. So, and it's also a Linear, so it's doing a bit extra damage on the crit spot, so yeah, it's not not the worst thing either so i kind of recommend more of that kind of stuff for is if you're in a team setting where you got the team with better weapons for dealing with everything else and if you got queen's breaker you can keep a tormentor locked down especially from a distance not not too shabby at all but then on the other hand if your team's supporting you as far as like everything else goes why not just use tractor cannon It'd probably be more useful anyways but really the same thing goes for all weapon loadouts like if you're if your weapon loadout is to deal with one enemy in a single like Nightfall, let's say for example. I mean, I can't recommend that ever because just having the enemy just for one thing that you're gonna run into for one encounter, it doesn't make a lot of sense. So really, I guess when it comes to Tormentors, if you're having trouble with a Tormentor, I'm gonna say pick a class, a subclass that can deal with it. So through abilities and save your loadout as far as weapons go for like real damage against the boss or enemies, add control, all that kind of stuff, probably would be the best idea or recommendation so so for me when it comes to tormentors specific for tormentors i'm gonna rock stasis because keeping them kind of frozen indefinitely well you can deal with everything else and then come back to the tormentor when it's safe i mean sounds safest and most stress-free to me and yeah yeah that's it so so just a reminder about tormentors we've got grandmasters coming up with lake of shadows and blah 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 and there's uh, quite a few tormentors tormentors in three yeah, three of the Grandmasters, there's going to be a Tormentor, so it doesn't hurt just to have a little refresher on some of the things you can use kind of to help you out a bit or make your life a bit easier. Anyways, hopefully something here gave you some ideas for dealing with Tormentors. And that's it, that's it. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.